two, four, three bad moms Just for mom Cause he wants a pat Mahomes from Go Pop Jenna is collecting retro dolls Here we are The Neshevni Mall I just saw an article That said The Neshevni Mall uh, Half of the mall is going to be demolished and uh, look at this you look over here it says start shining start living start glowing i don't know what the hell that has well maybe that has to do with the what they're going to do with the mall so the the plan is for this mall is they're going to tear down a lot of the mall the, the big stores at the end of the mall. Oh, there's a map here. Be much easier for me to show you. So if you look at the, the mall, it's kind of shaped like the letter U. And I'm here at the AMC Theater. So what they're going to do is I think all this is, this part of the mall, which is basically the mall, is going away. Uh, anchor store here at the theater. Boscoff's is staying and they're opening a gym, I think, here. And the plan is tear this down, build some apartments, and maybe a doctor's office or some offices in this space. Um, ooh, wow, new things here. How are they doing? Look at the movie theater. They have the bungee jumping trampoline ride. $15. How exciting. Is. So what we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to walk the mall. We're going to scoop the outside of the mall, and we're going to try to film all of the mall one last time before construction starts and uh, start stuff starts getting demolished. And uh, I got to tell you, this mall is actually, I have very sentimental feelings about this mall. This is where I took my kids to see Santa Claus. This is where my grandson sees Santa Claus. And uh, I used to go to the movies a lot at the theater here with my friends. We would go to lunch. I had a friend who was a musician who played the bar here. Um... I, I enjoyed going to the bookstore. So I actually like this mall. Um, it's smaller than uh, a lot of the malls in the area. So it was a lot easier to go to the Hot Topic at this mall than the Cherry Hill Mall. And eh, okay. So anyway, I like this mall. Just here used to be uh, the Models. Gotta go to Moe's. And I'm filming this on a Monday morning. It might be a little bit afternoon. And this was a big sporting goods store. And they, uh, it's now, you could ride those things. And you have a, down there it's an uh, escape room. You got the animal ride. So this is like a theme park almost. You got the bungee jumping, the movie theater. Down here are the restrooms. I really like the uh, tile and the aisles and the walls. Like it has a vibe, especially like the floor. Get the skylight up here. Oh, and they got the Culture Club uh, jumping. Or not jumping. Yeah, they got the Culture Club blasting. This floor makes me feel like the Culture Club time, 1980s. Oh, yeah. Sing it, boy, George. Van store still open. The FYE just closed within the last year, right? You know, I, a lot of the FYEs closed down. Um... in the area. I think one of the reasons why they're closed down is because they charge $70 for a Taylor Swift album. 
And this is what's coming soon. Medical offices. Because retail's dead. The only thing that can make money is medicine. It's a Nova bookstore. That's staying. This is, uh, you know, just going to wall this up. And what they plan on doing is making the mall... I was just at a mall in New Jersey. They were doing the same thing. They're making the mall a um, outside shopping mall instead of like an indoor shopping mall. People like to shop out. I don't know what the difference is. But, um, so yeah, they're going to do some outdoor shopping. There's some restaurants that are outside of this mall. Uh, when the Border is one of the restaurants. I think there's a uno restaurant and uh they're really really successful the boscoff that's in the small is very successful look at this whole section this whole aisle from here all the way down We're at the halfway point of the mall. This is where the food court is. There is a few little restaurants still open. This food court used to be hopping. There, I, th I think there was like a Wendy's down here. Uh, but what do they have now? They have pizza and stir fry. And uh, what's going on, cause? How we doing? Check out the uh, tables and chairs. Little things. Will the food court remain? I don't know. And right here, this used to be a newsstand. They would sell, like, I think they did lottery tickets, magazines. Do people even buy magazines anymore? Oh, look at this. This is for when you're done eating. What year do you think this trash can's from? Whenever you see advertising for the company that does the advertising, that means they're not selling the advertising very well in that location. Also, if you see advertising for billboards on billboards, that means they didn't sell the advertising on that billboard space. Tabletop. Man, I used to smoke cigarettes back in the day. And I remember in the early 90s, you used to be able to walk in the mall and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, they actually sold the property here for about $27 million. There's over a million square feet. And uh, they, the new developers, I think their name's Paramount. They, um, uh, I love this. I, I, was, I just would take a picture of this stuff, like the little tiles and up here. Because what they're doing now is, well, you heard me pitch about this before, Everything, everything's white, pure white, there's no color anymore, there's no tiles, everything looks like an Apple store. And I feel uh, Apple stores look soulless, soulless and sterilized. Oh, look at this, they got the high chairs. What will they do with the high chairs? What will they do with the empty kiosks? These are questions nobody's asking. There's the hours of operation, 11 to 7. They're open 11 to 8, Friday to Saturday, and Sunday 11 to 6. Nothing really open on this side. You got the Hot Topic and the K drawers. Everything else. Start glowing. Start shining. Let's check out the mid mall seating. They have the the indoor plants. The planters, look at this, right? The planters match the trash cans. I just love the floor here. 
Well, you got some historic items, too. What's going to happen to the uh, Nishamni Indian? What will they do with it? There's also some historical dioramas on the side. There's still, this used to be a water fountain when the mall started getting slower. That's what they do when malls die. They get rid of the water fountain and make it... There was a mall in New Jersey called the Burlington County Mall. And that was the first dead mall I went to that was actually torn down. And uh, they used to have a beautiful statue. I think it was like of the Jungle Book. And I never got to take pictures or take video of it. So forgive me if this is a little bit much, but it's just... The Nishamni Indian. The Nishamni is where a Delaware tribe that lived off the Nishamni Creek lived near here. Nishamni means double drinking place, two springs. Uh, it was, the sculpture was Henry Mitchell. It was presented by Strawbridge and Clovier, which used to be, uh, or Clover, <laughs> which used to be located here. And I believe this is going to be the location of the new fusion gym. I don't know who's keeping up with this planner, but they're doing a good job, right? Because I think this is all real. Yeah, it's all real stuff. Does the hand sanitizer work? It does. Yeah, like I said, I used to take my children to see Santa Claus here and they had the best Santa Claus in the history of Santa Claus is at this mall 20 years ago. Good dude. He would wear pajamas or like work clothes, like suspenders and red pants. And uh, he would dress up like that every day. But on Christmas Eve, he would wear the Santa red suit thing. So these were windows that had these historical dioramas on display. And now, oh no, look at this. It's falling apart on itself. What are they gonna be doing? There's a picture of Ben Franklin going to Europe. And then here's William Penn. This isn't too far from my house where this is supposed to be set. This is uh, the Great Oak in Penn Treaty Park. And this is where William Penn agreed to live peacefully with the Native Americans. Right here, this is a stage, a little staging area. Did Tiffany play the Nishamni Mall in the 80s? I don't know. She did just play Parks Casino, which isn't too far from here. And uh, there's the clock up there. Got the, the lights. I think, like I said, I think that's supposed to be the Fusion Gym. see the Spencers that was at the Nishamni Mall that closed down the GameStop's still here you got the you can start wishing I wasn't going to start wishing but now now I am thank you thank you sign yeah GameStop I always heard a rumor that WWE wrestler well, I didn't always. I was like, I heard that Stevie Richards worked at that GameStop for a bit. There's the 
directory. It's just advertising. Here's another directory, which is advertising. And there it is, the moon. So I am here. There's the Boscoffs. And the Boscoffs used to be just this store, but the store started vacating the mall. Boscoff started spreading and getting bigger and bigger. Boscoffs and Shoe Carnival. <laughs> is is this is the sign? Is the sign for Shoe Carnival necessary? I don't think so. I don't think so. As a matter of fact, I don't think the Boscoff sign's necessary. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm going to start living. Stop telling me. Jeez. Oh, look at this. Mid-mall seating. You buy a soda from the soda machine and you, you hydrate. This is a good... Thank you. If you're not sure on how to live your life, you could walk this mall. Kind of feel like... Uh, what's that movie? They Live? Obey. Hydrate. Start living. There it is. Okay, so this is the Boscoffs. And uh, this store always has a crowd of people in here. So I ain't going nowhere. Got yeah, like the skylight in front of the Boscoffs, these little boxes. And the cool thing about this mall is because it's shaped like the letter U, all you have to do is go out the Boscoss en entrance, walk through this parking lot, and you'll go right to the uh, movie theater. The movie theater is one of the best movie theaters in the United States. Um, it, it has a bar, it has like luxury seating. Matt, last time I go, went to the movies was at this theater. I saw Elvis meets Nixon. That was a movie that starred Kevin Spacey. And uh, that's how long it's been. I, don't, I can't remember the last time he made a movie. Yeah, you can see the Models. That's where the sign used to be. Gotta go to Moe's. Alright. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, scoot the outside. These are the movies that are out today. I don't like the alien movies. I'm not a big fan of sci-fi. Treasure. Nah. Okay, no thank you. Deadpool versus Wolverine. Uh, probably not. And Borderlands. That's okay. Yeah. If you're looking for a good movie, I highly recommend Beverly Hills Cop 4. There it is. Oh, Beetlejuice 2. Uh, why can't they just let good things alone, you know? Just leave good things alone. Oh my, he keeps filming the lamps. Yeah, that's what this is. We're, we're, doing, we're saying goodbye to every square inch of the Nishamni Mall. The Playland area. I took my grandson here. I think it's a Patreon video. And uh, it's when he was like first starting to walk a little bit. The floor is very padded. And I think it's called Escape from Playland. And every time he ran out, I had the alarm go off. Yeah. Look at this, this lady's uh, 
This cleaning cart has a Jordan symbol on it. Yes. AMC 24. You know they don't sell tickets at the box office anymore? You do it yourself? Twisters. Twisters. They made a sequel to Twister, huh? Isn't that guy dead? Isn't Bill Pullman dead? Oh, they're doing big screen classics. And June. Wow. A movie that I, I actually saw this movie here when it first came out. South Park, Bigger, Longer, Uncut. When it first came out, me and my buddy Dan saw this movie here. August, they're showing Rear Window with uh, James Stewart. If you like, uh, that's a good movie. Hitchcock would be proud. Bad Boys. I don't think I've ever seen a Bad Boy movie. What do you think of that? I don't think I did. I really, I think I might have seen Bad Boys 1. I, I just, no, no, uh, never saw it inside out. All right, now you're just bragging. Never saw a Despicable Me. I don't watch movies. All right, you ready to go for a scoot? Let's go for a scoot. And before I scoot, let me just film this exterior, this brick wall. Start grow glowing. Have you started to glow yet? Because that's what that sign says. I'm not really sure what that means. Okay, here's a sign in the parking lot. You can see where Sears is uh, baked in to the sign. <clears throat> I believe this was a Sears Auto Care place over here. Yeah, early bird drop off. We're gonna take our time. This is gonna be a lot longer than my usual mall videos. I don't know when construction's gonna get started. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be happening right away. But, you know, I'm sure there has to be zoning meetings and all that stuff. They said in the Chamonix Mall is over a million square feet and they're going to tear about half of it down. This is where they store their salt for the, for the uh, snowstorms. And that's probably from like two or three years ago because it doesn't, we don't think really had much snow. Yeah, look at the street, the pavement here. It's beat the hell. The mall opened in the um, late 60s. It was the sixth mall built in the Philadelphia region. Think, I'm not 100% on this. I'm almost certain this is where the totem pole used to be. N Nishamni is a Native American word. Um, yeah, I think this is where the totem pole used to be. And uh, they would have this totem pole. I think it was right up here. And they... Uh, that just went down. I think I fell in a storm. But you would, right behind there is, I, uh, is Route 1. So you would see the big totem pole from uh, the highway. Yeah, and the, the, I think these lights were the ones. These lights would shine on the totem pole. Okay. And right here is where the Sears was. I think the last Sears just closed, or was it Kmart? I think they just closed pretty recently. Um, I made a video in the Sears, like one of the last days it was open. 
This is underneath the awning at the entrance of the old Sears. Well, what will they do with the trees? Usually just rip them down. Uh, I see the paint. The paint is starting to peel off the uh, cement roof. Uh-oh. Right here is the Barnes and Noble. Here it is, 1967. There's the Shrawl Bridge and Clovier. Seal of confidence. William Penn shaking the hands with the Native Americans. That's also at Penn Treaty Park. I love the wall here. Flag poles not really doing much here. Yeah, this is where the fusion gym is going. The windows are boarded up. Check out the uh, the old lights. I like the benches. It has like a musky smell. Like it's, it smells abandoned. No smoking. Check out the uh, old planter. another seal of confidence yeah I don't think this this part of the store I don't think this part of the mall is getting knocked down I really hope I go to a lot of dead malls and a lot of the straw bridges their seal of confidence are still on display I kind of dig that I like that a lot
There's another seal of confidence all the way up there. And there's a few buses that come up to this mall. A few people laying in the food court. Seemed like they were homeless people. Um, I know somebody used to work at the Boscoffs, and they told me that people would just take the bus and hang up at the mall all day and then take the bus back to Philadelphia. It's the code of conduct. Yeah, this is one of the malls that don't have their mall hours posted. You have to scan a code. And let's do the prices. A bottle of water will set you back two fifty. Gatorade will be three dollars, and the Kickstart energy drinks 275. Get yourself a bottle of Pepsi for 250. Aquafina water will set me 250. I don't know. I always feel like I'm getting ripped off when I'm paying the same price for uh, water as I do for soda. The Boscoffs. Will the Boscoffs get a facelift? Will they modernize? Oh, that's a tough word to say. Will they update? I hope not. They probably will. The Mammoth Mall in New Jersey, their Boscoffs had an update. And that is a mall that's doing the same exact thing. Tearing some of the mall down to build... Um, to build apartments. Okay. I, don't know, I get bummed out when uh, little things, like sometimes in Philadelphia, a mural I like will get painted over and I didn't video it and I kind of get bummed out. Because it's not there no more. I don't know if anybody else videoed it, you know? I don't know. All right. Well, listen, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit like, hit subscribe. I'm very close to getting 50,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, um, you could also book me on Cameo. I could wish someone a happy birthday, happy Labor Day, happy August, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. I can say it. No big deal. Happy, oh, fantasy football draft. You got a fantasy football draft coming up? You can just give me the names of the teams and I'll give you your draft order. I'll give you your draft order just based on the name of the teams, you know? It's really good if you got a Cowboys fan. I usually give them a pretty bad spot to pick. So, uh, book me on Cameo. And, uh, that's it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll sail with you later. I'll see you later, Sears.